Hello and welcome to Funfold Friday. Today is the fifth day of working with Attention Shoppers and I'm using some, some new in colors with this card. So let me turn you down and let's get started with some. There we go. You can see I have some of my supplies out here. So this is a really fun fun fold. Hmm. So let's start with our designer series paper. So with this one, this comes with, let me just grab it here. This is the Unbounded Beauty series, designer series paper. So it comes in the suite of Unbounded um, Love, I think it is. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So we're going to use it for this card. Now this piece is... Um, four and a quarter by ten and a half, I think it is. Let me just double check my measurement here. Yep. Ten and a quarter by four. Sorry, I guess if I would just measured it, right? Four. So then we're going to actually score this a little differently. So we're going to take a pencil and we're going to mark this at two inches. So we're going to come over here, and this is a lighter pencil so that I can, I can erase it. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing with the other side at two inches. And then on each end, we're going to score it at two and a half. So, no, not the cutting blade. So there's one, two and a half. Turn it around, and there's two and a half, and now from our score line, that, or not score line, our pencil line, down to our score line. So there's our score line and pencil line, so they're both in the track, so we're going to score that. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And as you can tell, I'm coming farther down on the, what am I on a stamp? Farther down so I can get the score line. And way over here to my pencil line. They're both in the track. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other end. So pencil line to score line. And then score. I guess I can put down my take a pick tool, right? There we go. And then we can score these. They're going to come inwards. And yes, they are going to overlap like that. So it's all good. And we can actually glue that down. So I'm just going to put the glue at the top here and then I'm going to push it down wait a second there then do the same thing with this one and push it down and there we go and then we have the two and a half inch score line and the other two and a half inch score line and then when you put them together and no they're not going to meet and that's okay then what we have is this this is our inside piece and i use the swirly i think it's called so swirly um, embossing folder and it's huge so you can choose anywhere um, Item number is 163791. So I believe this one is, let's check the measurement because I'm thinking I scored at three by three and a half. Three by three quarters. So, because that will equal our seven and a half, even though I didn't tell you the measurement. 
So this one is seven and a half by five. And we're gonna score it at three and three quarters, which is right in the middle. Grab our bone folder. Now this is gonna go right in the middle here. So we can glue this down. I'm gonna put a little extra glue on um, because these indents are actually on the thicker side or the deeper side. And then we'll right in the middle. There we go. Hold it there for a second. And now using these deckled circles, trying to grab it here. Um, I used one, two, three, four, five, the sixth one, the fifth one, and the fourth circle for these circles right here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this one. This is Shy Shamrock. And this is Petunia Pop. So that's why our base is Petunia Pop. And then we have another Petunia Pop that's gonna go right there. So again, it's not going to be popped up so let's just go like this and we can put that right onto our shy shamrock and then to go on top of that I cut this out of the buggy or the shopping cart right here out of the silver paper and then I did this one again in black so that I had some wheels. So the silver paper is this here. Two sheets come and it's 163387 and it's 12 by 12 and they put it backwards I guess to protect the, the silver. So we're just going to take the wheels I'm going to put the black on first and I figured out that it's easier to glue the wheels this way than to try and get the glue on the tiny wheels and then use the other end of my take your pick tool and get that on there so yeah I just out of these wheels then I came in here and cut this off and then cut around this way so that I still had the wheels. So let's get this one on there. And there we have some nice black wheels. Now let's put a little bit of glue up here so we can attach the buggy part to our cart. And again, I just found it easier to put it on the, I don't know what you call that, the wheels? And then hold that down for a second. Make sure sometimes with the silver and the gold, you just need to wait a couple of seconds for it to adhere. And then this is gonna go right here and we're just gonna glue the bottom of the buggy and maybe the side. So, take your pick tool, does not have glue in it. I just about picked it up thinking it was my glue. There we go. And you don't need a lot, so try and keep your trail of glue on the thinner side. And then up the side here. And then we're gonna glue that right there 
Bring it down a little bit. And you know what I did earlier is I went like this. Move that over there and then I weighted it down with the block. Now remember these two that I cut out yesterday? Yes. Well, we are going to color them. We have two plant pots and we're going to color them with Summer Splash and Pretty in Pink. And I'm just going to use the light version for both. And it's so pretty, this combination. There we go. And over. Who doesn't like buying potted plants? They are so nice to have around the house or the apartment. Just adds some color, right? And it helps keep your air a bit cleaner with the plants. So now we're going to do the pots in our pretty in pink. And I did stamp these in memento yesterday. And they've had a full day to dry, so it's looking good. There we go. Now we're going to take these two and I'm going to put on the bottom of these a glue dot. There they are. And I'm going to put it on the plant pot. There we go. And you can take this off and put it away. Come here. And then we're just going to lift the buggy up a little bit. And we're going to put our plants inside the buggy. And then, so that one is done. Now we have another circle out of our gorgeous designer series paper. And we're going to put this smaller circle. Remember the three circles we did? Uh, one, two, three, it was number four, five, and six. Let's just double check. Yes, four, five, and six. We used of the deckled rectangles. Now this, we're going to put the words, happy birthday. That's not them. Here we go. Happy birthday. And we're going to use petunia pop. Since that's our, our main color here. And I'm going to put it towards the top. So there's room down here to sign your name, put a little message, what have you. And then we're just going to glue this right onto that gorgeous designer series paper. And it doesn't matter which way you put it on the designer series paper because it circles. So if you end up putting the words over here, turn your circle. I keep thinking that uh, even though it's a circle, I have to be able to read. So then this is going on the inside on our So Swirly paper. Now, if you wanted, because the So Swirly will be hard to leave a message on or write a message, you could put, um, just a minute, let me put this down. So pretty. You could put um, one of these inserts over here and you could write a longer message and keep this here. Like it, it balances so well. So that's an idea. So then we have our petunia pop here and it's going to go on the back here. So let's glue this up. You hear that dog barking outside? I guess he's out for a walk. A little bit cooler at night time. Okay. So then, this part is a little tricky. Take your top, fold it, and your bottom, and fold it, and then place it on your 
cardstock. And yes, I now have glue on my fingers, but that's okay. It rubs off. Now this fun thing is gonna go right here. But I'm only gonna glue, of course, this top part. So I will put a little glue here. Close it up. And get that balanced. There we go, and then just hold that for a second. Make sure it's there. And this bottom part, it fell on the floor when I was creating earlier, so I will get that. Um, I don't wanna poke myself. Now we definitely need some embellishments. So the ones I chose, because they're sparkly to go along with the silver paper, is the flat adhesive backed pearls, 160449. And let's have some fun. So let's close this up and I'm just going to hold it like this. How about we put one up here? Because I don't want to put them underneath the circle, right? So put one there. I just love that one. It looks like part of it is missing part of the shimmer on it. And then how about up there? And there is tonight's card. Now to keep it flat, um, what I did is I took my glue and I just put a dot right here and I'm going to let it fully dry. So I'm not going to close this card while well, I can go like this. Now tomorrow that will just be like um, stick tack so it can hold the card closed and then the recipient opens it sees your message and they can close it up again if they choose and it'll stick back down it becomes yeah sticky tack so let me turn you down thank you for joining me with this fun fold this is so pretty and i think it was stamping mom that i got this idea from let me just take a peek here Course, that's easier said than done right yes stamping mom but, oh so creative I love this fold okay so let's put this up there we go I don't want to put it all the way down because of that glue but then they get to open it up and then they get to open the inside how fun and I love the colors this color scheme just shouts happiness. Love it. Thank you for joining me. I hope everyone has an awesome weekend and I will see you here on Monday, August 26th for Matching Monday. Take care. See you then.